sparks flew tonight as a sharply divided Metro School Board elected the person who will chair its meetings for the next year. It was the first school board meeting since the election of three new members in August, and it comes as the school system finds itself mired in controversy. News Channel 5 Chief Investigative Reporter Phil Williams was there for all the fireworks. The first meeting of the new Metro School Board began on a harmonious note. But that harmony was short-lived. Many problems existed with her leadership. As members faced a motion to elect school board veteran Sharon Gentry as the new board chair. Gentry has generally been supportive of schools director Dr. Sean Joseph. Board member Jill Spearing blasted Gentry's fitness for the job. There are many disrespectful behaviors Sharon Gentry has displayed on the board floor, rolling her eyes while board members speak, having side conversations, laughing and giggling with the director while board meetings are in session. This is unacceptable from any board member, especially the chair. Yes. Gentry won on a five to four vote, suggesting a board that's now more deeply divided than ever. Um, there's just a lot of things that have, I think have been a big miscommunications, um, people's expectations not being met correctly. Among the simmering issues, an ongoing sexual harassment scandal first exposed by News Channel 5 investigates. Dr. Joseph, why will you not answer our question, sir? A scandal that's had Joseph and his team dodging questions. And I'm not sure why there would be such an effort to repress board discussion about a metro audit uh, and to repress board discussion and, and questions about the audit unless there is something to hide. When items of public interest are consistently omitted from board discussion, it appears the board is neglecting our responsibilities for transparency and accountability. New board member Fran Bush noted that some of Joseph's supporters have tried to cast critics as being racially motivated. Race, she insisted, has nothing to do with it. I have seen retaliation, I've seen discrimination, and I've seen racism. And this doesn't have anything to do with race. This has all to do with accountability. Still, one veteran school employee argued the board's divisions are not good for children. Yeah, we're here for these 86,000 plus students. And until we understand the only reason why we have a job is because of the kids, all this bum foolery is going to keep going on. Some saw tonight's vote as a potential referendum on Dr. Joseph's tenure as director of Metro Schools. While Joseph certainly had a 7-2 to two margin of support under the old board, tonight's vote suggests that margin is now a lot thinner.